Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm Anthony Vitale, and at this time, I'm being joined by Nolan Ashley Bryant and Matt Honeycutt. They're both in a band called Kublai Khan, and they are from Sherman, Texas. Fellas, how are you? Good. Thanks for taking the interview. Uh, before we start, um, big thanks to Eric Easterday for helping me shoot this. Uh, make sure you check him out on social media and check out all of the fantastic photography and video work that he does. So big shout out to Eric Easterday. Thank you. Gentlemen, um, I, it's crazy to think that, that we met almost five years ago uh, at a festival outside of Atlanta. Um, got, to, got to know each other and got to hang out. So I appreciate you, you wanting to meet up today and, and have this talk. Um, so let's get started on, on, the, um, on the new record. You know, it's out. It's called Nomad. It's on Rise Records. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Matt, last time we spoke, uh, you told me that you were considering calling this record Red River or Nomad, uh, or I think, I forgot the other ones that you threw around. What made you land on Nomad? I think it just fit better with the whole aesthetic. Plus, I mean, like, we had talked about naming it Red River, but that would have, it would have meant a lot to us, but we, we have members that live in, like, New Jersey and stuff like that, and at the time he had moved out to uh, Tennessee and stuff like that. So that area pretty much only pertained to two of us. You know what I mean? So we kind of thought, you know, Nomad makes a little bit more sense anyway because instead of trying to put kind of a centralized name on it, it's a name that we all share because we all move around everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it made a lot more sense, you know. Nice. Plus, I don't think we wanted to make it seem like Red River was like Blood River or something. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't know Red River is. Mm -hmm between Oklahoma and Texas. Yeah, it's just a location. Yeah. All right, so Nomad. Uh, what's your favorite song on it? Mine's probably No Kin. I'm trying to get all these guys to play that for Warped Tour. We're going to see what happens. I'm down. I mean, yeah, I'm down too. Yeah. Um, mine's probably True Fear or Belligerent, mm -hmm. which we're playing True Fear tonight. So Nice. So, so sorry to cut you off. And now, you now, there's, um, now there's three full lengths. I don't know if you want to count Youth War... It, would that count as four? I would just call that the EP. Yeah, yeah. So, that's the demo, pretty much. So between all of those, right, people are now going to start to compare mm -hmm. uh, albums and right. records. Um, what have you heard so far as far as feedback as, as what a favorite is or, um, or how Nomad compares to the rest? I think general consensus is a lot of people think Nomad's are best so far, and I, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's very um, encompassing of what we are as a band. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty happy. Nomad definitely, yeah. at all the records we put out, has had the best reaction and best support. I, I think our last album before that, New Strength, that's, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I've talked to these guys about it too, that's forever going to be my favorite album we ever did. But I feel like Nomad pretty much shit all over it as far as like people giving it the attention. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is fine. I mean, it's the newest record. I would want that to be the one that people are most attracted to because we're trying to keep things moving forward, not just stay backwards. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. So now, um, I, I really didn't know if I wanted to include this or not, but uh, it's out on Rise, and of course people had, for some reason, a concern that you were going to become a... A, a what they see as a Rise Records band, right. and you know, wear uniforms or do spins or. Uh, Which how do you know? answer? Yeah, how do you answer up? <laughs> how do you answer uh, all those all those folks? I I, don't, I just think that a lot of it's just misinformation. They don't really understand fully like, how it works. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it, it doesn't really have shit to do with anything. Like, yeah. That's one of the the reasons that we signed with that label was because. We told them, well, we're still going to do exactly what we want to do, the style we've been doing, and we're going to keep everything yeah. the same. And that's what their attraction to us was. It wasn't so they could take our band and mold us into something we weren't to try and push <coughs> us as a product. Sure. It was more that they enjoyed the product that we had created on our own, mm -hmm. and they wanted to help us you know, push that to the next level. So for all of us, we were just kind of sitting back like, it's just people that just really, I feel like just don't really have a full grasp right. of yeah. That really what it up. what it means to, sure. to do something like that, you know. But yeah. and in your opinion, it ends up becoming the the best lyrically and instrumentally, uh, the the most coup like on out of all. Is what you feel right? Yeah, I would, yeah, I would probably say so. A lot of people don't really understand what a label does, so I think they just see the other bands on the label yeah. and they think, uh oh, this is going to be an issue. But it's right. like, yeah, label for the most part, at least with our band, they're not fucking worried about they've what been, we're doing. They're, they're just, great you know, so far. Yeah. Nice. 
And one more about the, the comparison of the records. Uh, people will, uh, of course, say it'll never be like the first being balancing. Um, in my opinion, also the, the my favorite of, of the, the full lengths. Uh, how do you respond to people that say that it'll never measure up to that? I think a lot of people they hear the first thing the, like normally like the first album they hear from a band is something they really latch on to and like emotionally connect with and you know it's harder to like get new stuff and connect in the same way but I don't know I yeah I, I'm one of those people yeah it's like, like I'll listen to a band's first record and love it and then not even know they put out three other records yeah. just because I get so hung up on one record mm-hmm. it's one of those things like as I mean to even be a band and have a record that people latch onto in the first place right. is a special thing. But at the same time, like looking at like record sales, looking at everything else and the reaction that has come with the new record, mm-hmm. it's it's. I mean, there's definitely a lot of people that give more of a shit. I feel like about what we're doing now than the people that are still hung up on the first record. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think nostalgia has a lot to do with. Sure. You know that sort of thing. Yeah, typically when people bring up the first record too, they're like, "Man, like that was like my shit." And like, yeah. You know, this time or this time, and it's like, yeah, you know, like it was for us too. But as as time moves on, you gotta keep putting out stuff that you know isn't the same shit sure. over and over. Hopefully, you know what sure. I mean. Plus, back then there weren't a whole lot of bands doing that kind of thing. Much know. more now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you can also relate to the the nostalgia feel of it, I guess, or, yeah. or the the yeah. attachment to it. I mean, it's nostalgic for us. Yeah, too. we yeah, wrote sure. songs yeah. that. You know, for sure. We wrote that record and bust our ass, and there's a lot of memories tied to a lot of those songs. Yeah. Sitting in Isaac's house, you know, <laughs> every day, just jamming. Nice. All right, so um, uh, Nolan, I had to, I have to bring this one up. Uh, it, it's fascinating to me that um, you know, you decided to step away from the band for a little while, not as uh, all together, mm-hmm. but just as far as a full-time touring member right. to be a husband and to be a father. And I think that's so respectful and I think that's so incredible that you have found a way to do so uh, because you still are a husband and a father, uh, but you've made it out uh, for this little run here. Mm-hmm. Uh, how have you found the balance and how important is it to you to keep this in your life? Well, I think a lot of why I'm able to like do it again it has to do with you know just my wife being supportive and wanting to like wanting me to pursue my dream you know and uh, life short you know and so you kind of got to go for it sometimes and if she wasn't you know I wouldn't be out here you know I'd be <laughs> I'd be doing you know home stuff but I think because of how important it was to me and how it was important like it was a big part of her life too you know before we had Rowan and right. all that, so I think she gets satisfaction out of what of, out of it as well. It's like almost like her living vicar- vicariously through me, yeah. I guess. <laughs> but um, it, I don't know. Like this has been a big part of my life since I was 19. You know, I've been doing it for a long time, and we had a, a specific discussion about before I started coming back out and right. you know in there and it was kind of like you know if I'm going to do this I'm going to do this and she's got my back gotcha. so. and with that let's uh, let's roll into the fact that you guys are on the uh, the Vans Warp Tour this year mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. final cross country Warp Tour right. uh, ever yeah. I mean it's pretty significant so, uh, this is a huge deal yeah we love um, that and you guys are on the mutant Dawn Red Dawn stage, Red Dawn stage. Red Dawn stage. Yeah. Uh, incredible along with Harm's Way and mm-hmm. a lot of other great bands yeah. and um, you've, you've found the time off for that which right. is incredible so yeah, yeah. let's talk about that I mean you, you know you've explained how you found a way to balance work and life what's it like for you guys to be heading out on the final Vans Warped Tour what does it mean to you I mean it's kind of like we were talking about earlier just with nostalgia like, I mean, I, all of us used to go to Warp Tour, you mm-hmm. know, and then to be able to... It's a dream come true, you know. Yeah, to be able to play it. I mean, when we found out that we got it, ever since then, I've been really trying to prepare myself, like, mentally, to just, day one when it starts, like, live in that moment. Just take it you all. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to fucking have any of it pass by or anything like that without really being able to harness the whole situation. 
you know, because it's it is it's the last one. So it's like I want to be 100 percent in it and really just have the summer of you know our lives. You know, yeah, it's a special thing too because there's a lot of really awesome bands right now that aren't getting to do that. You know, so it's it's like I said, it's really like, special we really that we get out. to do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who, you, surreal. who are you looking forward to watching uh, every day? Uh, or on the, uh, there's there's bands playing XLR dates, I guess, too. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm excited to see Under Earth again. I know they're only playing a couple days, but yeah. it's been since, like, 2007 since I've seen <laughs> them, you know what I mean? So. Been, to like, say, to say, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. To say you guys will be out with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. cool. Some 41 and shit like that. Hell yeah. Knock Loose is doing certain dates and, like... Mm. I think it's it's definitely gonna be one of those experiences where it's like, I mean, I think it's gonna be a party. You know what I'm saying? Totally. Every day. Really excited. It's gonna be to watch exciting. every time I die every day as well. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Awesome. Well, listen, I appreciate you guys taking the time. Um, you know, never never got too cool to say hi, so I really appreciate that. I think um, it's good to mention that because uh, it's just good to have friends around in this music that uh, that don't forget. Totally. So that, that means a lot, and thanks a lot. This is Nolan. This is Matt. These guys are Kublai Khan. The record is called Nomad. Go listen to it. Check them out on the Vans Warped Tour all summer long. Uh, Thank you again, Eric, for filming. And thank you for watching.